money to come buy Sally's stall and buy some cleaner or to go buy more office or buy some. So yeah, there were five months of workshops, uh, particularly with the children. We did a number of table readings, including the adult actors. I've done some acting on stage and some for television. And knowing the rigors of acting, and certainly you know working in the field now with the young actors, all I could say is thank God for those five months of effort of showing up every time and really working with them, um, not just on acting per se, but just on familiarizing themselves with the world and the business of movie making, that every time you have to do over a take, it's not necessarily always because of you, which has been one of the things that the young actors feel a bit insecure about. When you hear, cut, let's do it again. Is it something I did wrong, you know? And really coaching them and that to understand that there's so many things that have to get, be, be tweaked. Lighting, sound is a problem, many, many things. Um, we did work with cameras in studio. They did work just on learning to be a team and a unit because one of the storylines involves uh, bullying. And we didn't want that storyline to spill over into the reality where the children get confused that um, Alyssa is Sally and it's where, you know, the treatment of the Dindy Alberts towards Sally is not actually towards Alyssa. So we did a lot of work with them on learning to be professional in their role as actors. Everyone who does theatre knows that the mirror is a sort of standard that we go to. It's a way of teaching, uh, being grounded in your own attention. It's a way of learning to be mindful of what is in front of you, paying attention. Also, one of the things that I have found it useful for is sometimes when young actors or not just young in age, but new actors come together and play a scene, the most dominant character or actor, everybody starts to sound and act like that character. So if it's a um, favorite character, you might start to realize that, say it's a real sort of dominant style, the other kids might, who might need to play somebody more feeble might actually start to pick up that tone in their voice. So it's really good, a good opportunity to say, well, you're mirroring, you know, don't mirror. Or sometimes you actually do want an actor to mirror um, what is coming at them, you know, if it's an emotion that um, it, they have to receive, you know, how do you react and respond to that? So just being able to play with the mirror, the number of exercises we use, particularly Viola Spolin is somebody that I've been very inspired by and I've used a lot in my workshops for both adults and children. And uh, we did a lot of that, um, what they call theatre games, um, so that the kids could really have a grounding before they get into the field with the rigors of filmmaking. There's too much thinking going on still. I want you to show me that rope. I don't want to see all the fighting you're doing. I want to see the rope. Where is that object between you? Show me, remember how you showed up in that yellow ball this morning? Yeah. Why? Because you used your concentration and then feelings start to show in your body. And so somehow, knowing that like, one of the things we really need the kids to do is to be, is to, is to get into their lives in such a way that they can really play with it, manipulate it, express any emotion with it. Um, that was definitely one of the exercises that I wanted to focus on. Have them just say their line and then say it with a different tone, say it with a different emotion and sort of introduce them to how flexible languages and how flexible their delivery is so that they would have a choice. And one of the things that I've learned from wonderful people like Eleanor Marie Camps and Tony Hall is that you have to be bored with it to some extent. You have to like say the line so many times that it means nothing before you can really infuse it with the meaning that you want. Freeze! Alyssa! And who else can I just the And what? I was really grateful to be able to participate in the workshops. Um, I couldn't participate for a while because I was pregnant and I was really ill. But um, for the ones that I got to participate in, I really felt that it was important 
to help your kids learn about flexibility and choices as actors. And that maybe um, when Joe as a director says, well, let's, let's do that again, uh, but try it this way so that they wouldn't just say it exactly the same way. They would have options to play with, they would have levels. And a big part of it was showing them that. Oh, yes. Why are you doing this? It's the best thing.